Shout out to the EA Creator Network for allowing me to capture this early Madden 24 footage. And just remember that all Madden 24 footage is a work in progress. Mutt 24 tier list video. In this video, I'm gonna be putting cards in their respective tiers based on their stats. That's the overall and how meta I think this player will be. And I'm gonna be doing positional players only. So for the O linemen, you know, I'm really not gonna get into them. Uh, maybe a few of the D linemen as well. You know, obviously I'll probably put Aaron Donald and Chris Jones in there, maybe even Bosa. But for the most part, it's gonna be secondary. It's gonna be receivers, quarterbacks, tight ends and maybe a little bit of the front seven. All right, let's get into it. Uh, first things first, we gotta go with the QB. We're gonna go with Josh Allen, who is the cover athlete. Let's see what he's rocking with in Mutt 24. So Josh Allen, 78 speed. You know, that might seem a little slow to you, but after checking a lot of these ratings, that's honestly pretty fast. He's six foot five, he's got 87 throw power. Um, pretty solid, you know, accuracy stats. 82 short, 81 mid, 84 deep. Throwing the run is 86. Um, obviously we cannot check his you know abilities i'm gonna give him an a rating just for the sole fact that he's six foot five and 78 speed um he's gonna be running and gunning quite a bit definitely a top tier qb one that definitely will be used uh in the beginning of the year i'm gonna give him a b rating you know his uh release isn't the best he has some solid speed and his height definitely helps him out a lot 87 throw power and then obviously that 86 throw in the run i feel like this is a b tier qb and a lot of people will be using him in the beginning Personally, I, I don't think I will due to his release, but we're gonna go with a B for Josh Allen. Also, another thing, guys, we gotta keep in account the price range on these cards. The 86s are obviously gonna be going higher than the 84s and the 85s. So that's another thing that goes into this tier list. Next up is Mahomes, 74 speed, not the best release, 86 throw power, great throwing accuracies, especially throw short. His throw under pressure is 86. This card has really good throw under pressure with 86 and a great throw on the run at 86. The only thing is he's slow, you know? I'm expecting Mahomes to be at least like 78, 79 speed. He's at 74, I know it's early on in Mutt and the ratings are a little lower than usual. This card for me, I'm gonna put this card at C. I know that's a bold take, uh, but 74 speed, we're usually used to Mahomes being fast. Uh, his release isn't the best, like at all, especially without any QB abilities. Um, you know, he does have great throw under pressure and throw on, on the run, but it really just comes down to that 74 speed. I thought he was gonna be much faster those two also guys keep in mind that Mahomes will be very expensive he's 86 overall the highest QB in the game behind Josh Allen coming up next is Aaron Rodgers 84 overall slinger one release you know arguably the best release in the game 69 speed 6 foot 2 83 throw power 82 throw accuracy short 79 mid accuracy and 80 deep accuracy with 81 throw under pressure 82 throw on the run so off you know you know, on paper, it's Aaron Rodgers. He has the best release in the game. You know, he's going to be higher rated for that, but his stats tell a different story. You know, not one single stat above an 85 overall, and that 69 speed is going to be very questionable. I'm going to go with a B rating. I mean, you know, a lot of people are still going to use him, including myself. I'll probably end up trying him out. Um, but yeah, man, I wouldn't be mad if you guys had him in the C plus or the C territory. I got to go with B though, just because of the sole fact that he's only 84 overall. He won't be too expensive and he has that slinger one release. We're going to go with a B minus rating. Had that been any other card guys, that's probably getting a D rating honestly off those stats. But you know, since it's Aaron Rodgers, you got to account for that release. And you know, he's going to be a B plus, a B, B rating for me with that, you know, how meta he's going to be. All right, guys, probably my last QB rating. We're going to go with Lamb Jack, Lamar Jackson, 84 speed, 6 foot 2, 81 throw power, 82 short accuracy, 79 mid and 77 deep with 82 throw in, under pressure and 85 throw in the run. Um, this card on paper, honestly, not the worst stats. Uh, Could have been way worse. I'm not sure if there's going to be a threshold on mid medium accuracy and deep accuracy. If that's the case, he probably will not meet those requirements. But, you know, he's 84 speed. He's got amazing throw on the run. Uh, with how QB movement is this year, I'm going to put him at a, you know, A or I'm going to put him at A minus or B plus Eric territory. Uh, he has a pretty good release. He's going to be running and gunning. There won't be a really, there won't be that many fast defenders early on in Mutt. So 84 speed on your QB is definitely going to be a blessing. Um, I feel like a B plus, A minus is a perfect rating for him. Final verdict, due to his price, how meta he's going to be, and, you know, just those raw athleticism of this QB. I could see a lot of boot over cheesers with him, a lot of rollout corner dots with this guy. He has a really good release. I'm going to go with an A rating. 
All right, guys, going into the running backs, going to probably break down one or two of these guys. Christian McCaffrey, 84 speed, 86 acceleration, 86 agility, 88 carry, um, 77 break tackle, 85 change of direction. Let's go check out his catching real quick at 78. Um, he's going to be the perfect day one running back besides those, you know, RPs and maybe some future content in the field pass. Um, he's going to be, you know, he might be uh, decent. He's going to be definitely expensive. But, you know, he's great in the receiving game. He has really solid speed. I know 84 doesn't seem like a lot, but you got to take into account the ratings are lower. So 84 speed is actually pretty high in this year's Madden. Um, and usually we get a slower McCaffrey. I'm going to definitely put McCaffrey at an A for running backs, especially for a day one core elite. Um, this is, you know, just a base elite, honestly. So it definitely gets an A rating for me. I will be using him in the passing game as well as the running game. Um, definitely an A just because how versatile he is. Guys, notice no one has cracked superstar tier yet. We've had a couple C's in there, a few A's, a few B's, no D's or F's, thankfully, and no S, no superstars so far. And here we go, Josh Jacobs. I'm a huge Raiders fan. Let's break down his stats real quick. 81 speed, not the fastest, 83 excel, 79 agility, 85 carrying, so he won't be coughing off the rock. 61 catch, 76 change of direction, 82 truck, 87 break tackle. Um, I'm not biased at all. So, you know, I love my guy Josh Jacobs. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. We got to put you at a C grading. I mean, they did you dirty on this card. It's not even you. It's more of the game. They're, your ratings are just, they're just not there. You know, you led the lead, you led the league in rushing yards last year. You got to be higher rated than this. Um, you are 86, which is really good, but there's like what, 286? There's what, 285 plus stats on this list and one is carrying. So yeah, they definitely did you dirty on this card. C rating for me, could be honestly lower than that, but we're gonna keep it at a C because you're a Raider. Right here guys, we got the last running back, Derrick Henry, 82 speed, 80 acceleration, 74 agility, 84 carrying, 56 catching, 86 truck, 84 break tackle. Guys, off initials is probably gonna be Christian McCaffrey, Meta, alongside some of those RP running backs and whoever else we get later on the line. This card right here, definitely going to be catching a C rating for me. I'm not going to put him at D because, you know, he's going to be a great goal line back. And he's going to be with Josh Jacobs. Just really doesn't do too much well. He's a little slower. Like I said, going to be a great goal line or fullback. Uh, going, to, going to be a great goal line back, whether you put him at fullback dive or just stuff him up the middle with that uh, halfback dive. But besides that, I don't really see too much value. And here we go. I know there's no play art on this card, but we got Jay Jetta's Justin Jefferson. 85 overall receiver, 85 speed, six foot one, good jumping, 82 catching, pretty low, 83 catch in traffic, 85 spec catch. So if there's a spec, if there's a spec catch glitch like last year, definitely gonna be catching some ags with this card. 82 short route running, 82 medium route running, and 82 deep route running. Six foot one, you know he's got really good speed. Um, I just can't put him at superstar, unfortunately. You know, he, he doesn't meet the requirements of superstar, but definitely an A-rated receiver for me in my books. Definitely gonna see a lot of this guy. He's a pre-order card, uh, really works hand in hand. Right here, guys, we got Tay Adams, another Raider. You guys know me, I'm a huge Raiders fan. Let's break him down real quick. 83 speed, 85 jump, 83 catch, 81 catch in traffic, 84 spec catch, but where Tay Adams is gonna excel is that short route running, medium route running, and deep route running. Slightly above Jay Jettis, but I mean, Jay Jettis is the best receiver in the game. We're going to go with a B for Tay Adams. He's a little slower, but you know, once he gets a couple upgrades, he's going to have phenomenal route running. And he, don't be surprised once, don't be surprised if he's one of the first receivers that gets route tech or one of those get open abilities versus man. B rating for me, shot of my Raiders. And right here, final receiver for me, there was a couple options, but they were a little slower. We're going to go with Garrett Wilson, 84 speed. He's an 85 overall, 85 catch, 83 catch in traffic, 81 spec catch, 83 short, 84 medium, and 82 deep route running. Great slot receiver in my opinion. Uh, great route running, good speed. This is definitely an A card. He's 85 overall, so I can't judge really how much he's going to be going for. But you know, compared to the rest of the day one base elites, he's definitely a very good option. Definitely going to get an A for me. Guys, if you want me to break down the RPs when they come out, make sure you leave a like and comment. And also subscribe with that push notification and I will definitely do that. I like doing this type of content. I know you guys like watching this. All right, guys. First tight end on the list. We're going to go with Travis Kelsey. 81 speed, 87 catching, 86 catch in traffic, 86 spec catch, 86 short route running, 83 deep route running, 83 medium route running, and 59 run block. So I don't know where his deep route running is. We could go hunting for this real quick. 
and I don't know if deep route running is a threshold for uh, 77 deep route running. So this card is going to be a, a flat machine. You know, I think he could air truck. He's going to be like your 5 to 10 to 15 to 20 yard guy. Um, he's going to be very good. I just, it's hard to judge how Titans are going to play in this year's Madden. Uh, rating for me, I, it's always safe to go with a B rating right here. Probably one of the better catching tight ends in the game. Very strong as well. Here we go. Uh, 85 George Kittle, 6'4", 83 speed. We got 87 catch, 83 catch in traffic, 85 spec catch, 81 short route running, 77 medium route running, 75 run block. That's a big factor for these uh, tight ends. And 74 deep route running. This tight end gets an A for me, George Kittle. He's been a beast for so many years. I, I know I could trust him in my passing attack. Uh, whereas players like Travis Kelsey, Mark Andrews, they don't really get enough cards. Whereas this dude, George Kittle, he's fast always with the 83 speed. He's always getting open and I could kind of rely on him and I've used him before so I could trust him. He's definitely gonna get an A rating for me. Um, definitely will be seeing him on a lot of teams. All right guys, the final tight end on this list, we're gonna go with Kyle Pitts, six foot six, 84 speed. 65 strength, 84 catch, 80 catch in traffic, 83 spec catch, 82 short route running, 76 medium route running, 57 run block. So definitely not a run blocking tight end. He's got 75 deep route running. Uh, I could see this guy being the red zone back, the red zone tight end. You go up there, chuck ags to him. Um, I want to go with A, but with that 57 run block, whew, I, I don't really know how often he's going to be playing. In the passing game, he's definitely an A+. Plus. Almost, you know, almost in that S territory just because of speed and his height. We'll go with a B because all around he's, you know, 57 run blocker. I know running is going to be very important in the early Madden, early stages of Madden. We'll go with a B plus, A minus rating. All right, guys, finally getting into the defense. There's so many cards. Let's start off with the cornerbacks first. Uh, let's go with Jalen Ramsey. The highest rated cornerback in the game, 85 speed, 84 accuracy. 84 acceleration, 6 foot 1, 78 agility, a little low, 84 jumping, 85 play rec, 86 man coverage, 84 zone, 87 press. This card, honestly, you know, if he had like one plus speed, he'd be a superstar in my opinion. I'm honestly going to put, I'm going to do it, man. I know his agility is a little low, but Ramsey is a superstar player, the first rated superstar player in my opinion in Mutt, just because he has 87 press and 86 man. We know how good man is in the beginning of each year, whether it's cover one robber, cover zero blitzes, that 87 press is going to get crazy in my opinion, and he's fast enough to you know hold on to those speedy receivers. So first, receive, first uh, player we got with a superstar rating is this Jalen Ramsey. Six foot one, he does it all. 78 agility, a little questionable, but you know, we'll see how much it really does matter. And if it does, then he probably goes to eight. But for now, superstar rating. You guys see a theme with me. I'm a big time defensive player, man. I love my defense. We're gonna go with AK Sauce Gardner next. 85 speed, six foot three, 85 excel, 81 agility, 82 jump, 83 play rec, 86 man, 83 zone, 86 press. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. He He's really good. Um, just because I put Ramsey in Superstar, I feel like I got to put Sauce Gardner in Superstar. Um, I know it might be a little biased to the defense. We got two, our first two players already going to meet Superstar. For me, really, it's the six, six foot three ability. Um, being six foot three is, you know, you can't teach that. It's not a stat. So he's going to meet Jalen Ramsey and Superstar. Both those corners are day one must. Um, 83 zone, you know, it's cool, high enough. 83 play rec, I really don't see anything wrong. I should have continued checking like his tackling maybe, but I already know he's gonna be a pretty solid tackler. Never mind, he has 85, he has 58 tackling. I should have definitely checked this, 65 pursuit, but I feel like he'll be good enough in the run game. 59 power, um, we'll, we'll still keep him at superstar rating. It's not like, a, it's not his job to stop the run, right? It's, he's a cornerback, it's his job to defend the receiver. I'm grading on him on that alone, unless it's a glaring like Dion status where like, you know, he can't tackle. This guy will be fine in the passing, in the running game. Trust me on that. Superstar rating for Sauce Gardner, AKA. And next up we got Tariq Woolen, man. And I mean, these corners are honestly so cracked. Six foot four, 85 speed, 84 excel, 80 agility, 85 jump, 81 play rec, 82 man, 85 zone, 85 press. So for me, I'm gonna put him at Ooh, I feel like uh, this is another player just because I rated the other two a superstar. This guy might be superstar as well. Honestly, for me, he's going to go at A because he has 82 man coverage. I know it's not a big difference between, you know, the, the man of, uh, you know, Sauce and Jalen Ramsey to 
Tariq Woolen, but I feel like man is gonna be more meta than zone. Zone is like, you know, I feel like you can have 99 zone out there and it's not gonna be a big difference compared to where man, you really see the difference in man. So we're gonna put him at an A. He is six foot four, literally an A plus. Yeah, he's barely missing the, um, you know, meter. He has great tackling as well. So I really wanna put him at superstar, but just cause his man is a little lower, um, and I'm the person, me, I'm gonna be running a lot of man. I gotta put him at A, A plus rating for Tariq Woolen. We're gonna get into the D line real quick. We got Bose, we got Aaron Donald, 86 overall power, power rusher right end. This is gonna be Aiden Hutchinson alongside him, but we don't have Aiden Hutchinson yet. So 83 speed, 78 excel, 86 strength, 82 tackling, 84 play rex, 86 block shed, 86 power move, 85 finesse move. Um, it's gonna be very hard for me to put him anywhere below A. Just cause like, you know, I don't know how, I mean, he's 83 speed. He might be a superstar, honestly, guys. He doesn't do one thing bad. You could put him at DT. I'm gonna put him at superstar, honestly. I don't like putting, you know, D lineman and all that, like old lineman. I don't like putting D lineman up there, but man, this dude could do it all. He's so versatile. Um, and it really goes to the fact that you could put him at DT and people have done it in pre previous years. And he's been, you know, good and, you know, ready to go. Um, the only knock on this guy is probably gonna be his price. But if you have coins, if you're a big baller brand, you could afford him, then that's no issue. Um, I'm gonna put him at A, guys. I'm gonna change my mind. Just because of his price, he's gonna go to A. But if you have the coins, he's definitely a superstar must-have player. Coin count, he's gonna be like 300K, I already know, 400K probably. So A, if you don't have the coins, a superstar if you do. I know I'm kind of wishy-washy with these ratings. We'll put him at A, though. 81 speed for Bosa. Um, definitely thought he'd be faster. 87 finesse move, 75 block shit, 84 power move. This card right here, off, I'm gonna initially put him at a B. He's gonna be phenomenal in the pass rushing game. But you gotta do it all, man. You gotta be able to stop the run, especially day one mutt. People are gonna be running the ball. So B for me, you know, I thought he'd be much faster as well, like around like 84 maybe, 83 speed. Aaron Donald's faster, so we're gonna put him at a B. And man, that Aaron Donald just seems so more crazier now that I saw Nick Bosa's rating. Chris Jones, guys, one of the best DTs in the game. 87 power move, 80 finesse move, 82 block shed, 75 speed. This card right here, probably gonna have, have him at a B just cause he's so glitchy. Even though he is a little slower, he gets crazy sheds always every single year at DT. Um, you know, have him there or not, it's up to you. I personally will probably have Aaron Donald there somewhere. But we're gonna go with like a low B minus, maybe a C plus for Chris Jones. Here we go, Fred Warner, 83 speed, 86 to sell, 85 tackling, 86 play rec, 75 block shed, 78 powers, 80 zone coverage. This card could do it all. I'm gonna put Fred Warner, even though he's a little slower with 83 speed, I'm gonna put him at A just because he has 80 zone. This card's gonna be phenomenal in 6-1. This, this card's gonna be really good in like 3-4, 4-3 sets. Or even if you're OG and you don't really like using safeties at linebackers, this card will get it done for you. Even you know, even though they can't jump, he will find the way to you know make an impact on the football. A for Fred Warner. I know Mad Max is a pass rusher, but I gotta get him in the Raiders ratings. Uh, 82 speed, 86 excel, 78 strength, 86 tackling, 86 play rec, 76 block shift, 82 power, 86 finesse. This is like another Nick Bosa card. I feel like he's slightly faster with 82 speed. So we're gonna put him at B uh, plus, maybe A minus territory. But for now, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it neutral. We're gonna keep it fair. We're gonna put him at a B, very similar to Nick Bosa. All right, guys. Here we go. Finally into the safeties. We got Minka Fitzpatrick. He's got 84 man. He's got 84 speed. Six foot one. 84, 86 acceleration. 76 tackle. 80, 83 play rec. 85 pursuit. 80 man coverage. 86 zone. 82 hit power only thing for me is he's like 84 speed which i feel like that'll be good enough in the beginning of the year but man he doesn't do one thing bad he could tackle let's go check his hit power it's 82 he can man up and zone this card is 100 percent a rating because he's six foot one and he is everything you want in a card um obviously you're not going to press your guy but we'll check that just in case and he's even got he's got 67 press but it doesn't really matter this card is really good in the run game. You can man him up. This is kind of what meta is nowadays. You're gonna man up your safeties. You're gonna cross man these guys. This card I could definitely see being on a lot of teams' rosters. And yeah, he gets he gets the A rating for me. Right here, Derwin James, 84 speed, six foot two, 86 excel, 80 speed or 80 tackle, 84 play rec, 84 pursuit, 81 man, 85 zone, 85 hit power. 
I mean, this card is honestly very solid. I can see him being a lot of people's user. He has 78 press as well. Immediately goes to A rating for me. He doesn't really do a, one thing bad. I mean, yeah, he did his 84 speed. It's not 85. But man, I mean, these a lot of these cards are finding their way into A rating. Um, and, you know, they're deserved, especially on the defensive side of the ball. I didn't really get too crazy on the offensive side of the ball with the ratings. But on defense, I feel like, you know, these cards are very solid. Obviously, these aren't RPs. These are base elites. Day one. If you want an RPs video, I got you. And some quick ads, man. Aaron Donald, he's a superstar. I don't care if you don't have enough coins for him. He's a superstar. Look at those stats. He does everything so well. You can put him at DT. You can put him at right end, left end. You can do anything you want with him. With Jay Jettas, we're going to put him in superstar tier. That 85 spec catch, he's going to be going crazy, making some of these crazy catches that we've seen in years prior. And that's it.